Now they made it through the first round of eliminations, but for one of them, Michelle or Anthony, this week will be the end of the road in terms of being in with a chance to win the much coveted presenting job on TV's Three's Expose. Both candidates are feeling the heat, but who has what it takes to stay in the competition? Anthony and Michelle are here with us this morning, but before we chat to them, <laughs> let's take a clip from last night's programme. And I have to be honest, Michelle, I was, I was shocked when I saw your tape, and I mean shocked because never mind a sort of certain level of cop on that everyone needs to have. Mm -hmm. Look, a good presenter has got to have some editorial smarts mm -hmm. because the truth is yeah. you are going to be in situations all the time, Michelle, yeah. where you don't have time to think, yeah. where you're going to have an interviewee sitting in front of you and they're going to throw God knows what yeah. back at you. Yeah. And I mean, and it is not okay, because you're right, it is a serious subject. You know, you're yeah, talking I about a man about it, yeah. who beat up a woman. Yeah. Like, whether it's Rihanna or Chris Brown is completely irrelevant. And I just, I really was, I was shocked by that question, and it really made me yeah. doubt whether you have the ability to go forward and do this. Um, I take, totally take that on board, but I do think I have the ability to go on and do it. I do, I can learn very quickly, and I know I just need to check in my head, hold on, can you say this? And I, I would do that if I went for it. Um, I do think I can go on. Our final two, Simon and Michelle, please step forward. OK, guys, one of you is going up for the public vote. Anthony and Michelle, you're up for public vote. Michael and Simon, you're through. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Well done. No, the elimination moment. That must have been actually really nerve-wracking. Yeah, thanks for, for showing it again. Yeah, no, do you know what? I, I decided to show that mm. clip this morning because yeah. I, I'd, well, in the short space of time, I'd never seen Emma get so, like, really passionate about yeah. something as a judge. And I have to say to you, Michelle, it's obviously something that you'll regret now asking that question. Is that going to be the one thing that has changed the whole dynamic of this competition for you? Well, I'm not going to let, if, if I stay, I'm not going to let it um, cloud the rest of the competition for me. But yeah, I think it was because it was Emma that was really tough on me. It was harder because she's mm. really nice and she usually gives really constructive criticism. So when she was really tough, I, f I felt it a lot more than if it was another judge. Um, but I'm not going to let it dampen the rest of the competition. No, I'll just learn from it, put it behind me, you know. <laughs> but did you feel, it, did, did you even think at the time when you were asking the question, this is not, I'm going into a grey area you see, here? that's the funny thing, the task is 20 minutes long and I'd say a good 15 minutes, I was fine, I did the task well, but of course they don't show that in the programme. Mm. And um, I say probably about five or six wrongly phrased sentences but um, you go into autopilot because you get no preparation you don't know yeah, what you're you, doing like if, for people who didn't see it last night you were literally mm. handed an envelope yeah. with the question that you had to go and get Vox Pops and for people who don't know what Vox Pops well maybe you explain to us now that you know what Vox Pops <laughs> are all about uh, well, you're going in for a little bit of public opinion. Mm. So you're asking the public their opinion on a subject. And uh, you have to go out and, and get an array of people to, to give their opinion. Yeah. How did you find it, Anthony? How did yeah. you find the whole thing? The I, box I pops last night. Well, Why do you think you were in the bottom two? Oh, oh, I had a bad day that day. I actually went into it thinking, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be great fun. I'm going to try and get as many opinions as I can. But as soon as it started, I started watching other, pe other people's, yeah. the way they, they're actually getting into it. And yeah. I was second We're last. looking at you here running around, oh. uh, like oh. running around the street. Yeah, I mean, adrenaline you said your head in. just went to mush. Did it just, did everything just become too much for you? No, no, it wasn't too much. It was that the adrenaline kicked in. And instead of focusing the adrenaline, I used it to try and get as many interviews as I could instead right. of actually looking for one good, good answer off everybody. Yeah. And that's what happened. It just got, it wasn't that was too much to you, just adrenaline just went poof. Because, I mean, like, even the judges were saying Vox Pops and an, an expose presenter, if you're on the red carpet oh, at a big uh, premiere, you have to grab somebody and get those killer questions in, in those straight away. Yeah. And the funny thing was, in a different situation, I would have stopped for two seconds if something else had gone wrong, I would have stopped for two seconds, thought about it and said, hold on, how can I work this out? But because it was that 20 minutes, you're trying to get as many people in as you can, mm -hmm. it, just, it just went mad. It was like, oh, where will I get the next person? And then people were running away from you as I saw on screen. They were like, no, go away, I don't want to talk to you. So how have you been finding the whole experience of the last couple of weeks? I know last week was the auto cue test, which like, we have them here in studio and stuff. I mean, uh, is, it, is it totally different to what you were expecting? Um, it's not totally different from what I was expecting, but... Um, because you've done a little bit of this before. You won a competition to do red carpet at the MTV. MTV yeah. um, it's, it's not totally different from what I was expecting, but um, I think 
before I was the type of person who'd watch reality TV and shout at the TV and say, oh, you idiot, why are you doing that? But when you're in it yourself, you don't realise the pressure you're under. Mm. You really are thrown in at the deep end and you don't know what you're doing till the last minute. So now I have a newfound respect for people in these shows. Yeah, so do <laughs> I, to be honest. I have to watch yeah. and you're just kind of like, oh, I won't ever give out about reality TV stars never, ever again. Never, never. No, they really throw you in at the deep end and they make yeah. you work for what you're going to get at the end of the yeah. day. But I mean, that's the thing because, I mean, the, the person who's get it and as they're saying, mm. will be automatic in the space of a couple of weeks, will be on TV practically every night doing these mm -hmm. types of things. Yeah. So you have to go through this, yeah. this very process. intense training very oh, yeah. quickly. They work you really, really hard yeah. and they make you work for what you're doing. And I think yeah. both of us actually are willing to work, 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 work for what yeah. we want at the end of the day. Time. For people who maybe don't know you and maybe haven't started to watch the programme yet, give us a little bit of background about both of you, Michelle. Um, well, I graduated from the Gaiety School of Acting in 2005. Um, so I started off as an actor. Um, I played Una Begley in uh, Rough Diamond, which was on RTE and BBC One. Um, I entered an MTV competition and got to do some red carpet reporting for them. And how was um, that? That was brilliant. Again, it was thrown in at the deep end. Mm -hmm. I had to um, go on the red carpet, be in with all the press. And for anybody that doesn't know what that's like, it's not at all glamorous. No, it's a scrum. It's a scrum, yeah. and you're like trying to yeah. dig your way through all the press guys and shout at celebrities to get their to answer. To try and get you to come over yeah. to them, so you yeah. wink or you do something different to yeah, try or and... shout their name or whatever. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a complete crash course for me, but it was really exciting, and it really gave me a taste for presenting. And I really know that I really want to do this after that whole all experience. Right. Anthony? My background is completely different. I went into business because I was kind of thrown into school by my family and then went from business into public relations communications because I, I felt I needed to get a master's in something to go on in education. And then I figured out that actually what I really wanted to do was presenting and acting. And then I did a couple of courses. I went to the Gaiety School of Acting while I was in college. And then I went on and said, right, I'll get my second master's in communications and try and get in through that way to presenting because it's such a tough field to get into. Mm -hmm. When you're knocking and banging on doors, which Very is so tough, real, yeah. it's horrible. So yeah. I said, I get the education behind me first and try and move on from there and I did I got my boat both my masters mm -hmm. and then I've just been knocking on doors with showreels ever since yeah. banging them down <laughs> now I mean the thing is what watching it I actually think there's more competition among the fellas than there is among the girls oh. Oh. Is. and for the first yeah. time you would have actually thought the girls would be the girls seem to be gelling a bit more the guys just seem to have daggers out for each other is that right no not behind the screen you could actually maybe say that but behind the scenes there's nothing going on yet between anybody and um, they're all different characters so yeah. there's there's two extremes at both ends and then it kind of runs through the middle. Is it, I, think, I think there's a lot of pu public opinion out there that maybe it's time for a guy to go on to expose this. So is that putting a bit more pressure on the guys? Yeah, I've heard that and I've seen, I've been watching the polls and the TV3 website, so I've been seeing that it's kind of gone up and down. Yeah. yeah, you can see the guys actually say, okay, maybe there's a chance. Because at the start we just all thought, no, there's not going to be a guy in the show. But now it's starting to look like maybe there could be. So it, it's getting more intense every week as it goes on. If you had, if it wasn't one of you to win, who would you like to win? Um, if it wasn't me, but it should be, um, <laughs> I'd go Stuart or Sharon. Stuart or Sharon? Um, I'd have to say Sean or Daniel. Sean or Daniel. Okay. Now, five seconds each. Why yeah. should people vote for you this morning? Because I really want it. And um, I'd be really good and really fun to watch as a presenter. And I'd entertain people. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> why, why one, again, I really, really want it. I'd be fun to watch, be entertained, but I'd also get things across that other personalities want to get across. It's not about me. It's to actually try and get information from other people, and I try and deliver that information to the public. Yeah, you've learned that from last night. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> OK, now, the voting lines are, if you would like to uh, vote for Anthony, then you can call 1513 712 301 or text Anthony to 53306. If you want to vote for Michelle, you can call 1513 712 302 or text Michelle to 53306. Remember, the lines close at 1 pm today, and um, that's to stay if you want them to stay. So if you want to vote for your favorite to keep them in the competition, mm -hmm. you vote for Anthony or Michelle. The, uh, the voting lines, as I say, close at 1 o'clock today, and we'll find out who is going on Expose this evening. So the best of luck to you. Thanks, I tell you, if you go, much. definitely Panto, Prince Charming, Cinderella, <laughs> Tivoli <laughs> at Christmas. Cheerios, Charming. Panto, definitely. <laughs> now, listen, best of luck to both yeah. of you, and, and we'll find out. Thanks to everybody who's voted so far. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah. All right.